Hello gamers, welcome back to another video of Untold Craft. This is episode 8 for me. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the series so far because I am having so much fun recording them. In today's video we're going to be doing, well, some legislative abilities. We're going to be flexing our money to buy off votes. I think that's still legal in this world. I hope so. If not, oof. Hey, you gotta do something, right? We gotta pass what we gotta pass. It's for the good of the server. Obviously for the good of me, but it's also for the good of the server. So I'm very, very excited about that. <laughs> besides that, we're going to be doing a bunch of really random things besides working on clearing more of spawn. Because spawn does need to get cleared, and it pretty much does in this video. I'm hoping by the end of this that we're caught up. <laughs> We're caught up. I can't wait to show everyone the current footage. And, but I'm glad everyone's enjoying all this footage. It's not really old footage. It's At max, it was nine days old. So I don't know why I keep saying that across all the episodes. But I have been. Alright gamers, without further ado, make sure to do me a favor here and hit that like button. Hit the comment. And wind up your fist. Wind it up. Get it going. Get it going. Come on. And punch that sub button. And I will see everyone after the video is over for another... Well, I guess mining outro. We're almost done. We're almost there. Okay, I've been hearing about this legendary hole. Oh, it's not done yet. It's okay. Come to the hole. Okay. It's it's I'm behind the house. Oh, uh, you can go outside. It's quicker. The hole's cut off from the inside because creepers were spawning and blew up my chest. Ah, oh, rip. Yeah, you're like, is it yeah, here's my hole. It's gonna go down to bedrock. So, I'm what are you trying to build? Oh, is, tell me this is a missile silo. That's a good idea. I know it's just going to be a giant nether portal. <laughs> <laughs> be like, hey, where's your nether portal? Oh, it's out back. It just drops. <laughs> just to be really annoying. Well, you know, of course, you know, I'm, you know, trying to be a politician. Originally, this book had a... Uh, Make damage free the emperor of the server, but uh, it was caught and it had to be amended to get the votes. But I have six uh, out of seven votes required. So I was mm -hmm. thinking that as a gift, I come drop, you know, some a stack of TNT oh. over there. Bro, a and stack? Then, oh, yeah, here, I'll sign it eight times. And then I put that right there, and then you read it, and then you make your own opinion about it, you know, to see if it fits your interests. Just just remember the stack of TNT while doing that. Um, and maybe it helps, you know, helps you out and it protects the server. The goal is to protect the server. Border limit. Oh, there's a, a star. The border limit. The stars is an amendment that I had to make. People wanted me to clarify it's until 1.17 comes out. Because we're trying to... to... I would have to move? For what? This 1.17, or do I have to go really far away? Well, it's just saying that you, you... It's trying to make sure people don't have to go really far away. It's saying, like, at max, you can go this far out. Got it. So it protects the generation uh, mechanics. Sure, I'll sign this. Well, I like all these. Why are all these pages of X's? Well, I was trying to do the X's, and then I was trying to put "Make Damage for the Emperor" on page eighty-one because I not I thought people would stop looking through the X's, but someone kept looking, so I had to take uh, that out. So I am no longer the bill doesn't make me the Emperor of Untold Craft, which is really sad and really so, disappointing. So sad. Hold on, I'm, I'm going through every page. I promise. I ha I've had to do this multiple times. There's <laughs> there's nothing on it. And now I have to go all the way back to the beginning. Hold on. Do I just click the sign button? No, on page three, there's a seven. You put your name on it because there's 13 current members of the server. So I need 51% of them to okay it, to get it into law. Okay. There you go. I think I signed it. Oh, it's dark. And there we go, I got all set up in signatures, so now I hit sign. Bill 1. 1.17 protection. Uh, I'll do 1.17. 1.17 protection. 
act. Oh man. World act. There we go. I, I've done it. I've done Good job. it. All right, so now it's time to reveal my evil plan because uh, the bill's now law. Mm -hmm. there goes. So in there, of course, I put in the nether 1,250 by 1,250. I have gone to every single nether fortress in that range, and I've taken all the nether wart, so I'm now the single provider of nether wart on the server. So if anyone wants any potions, they're going to have to co come by nether wart from me. And I'm going to charge a fortune for it. <laughs> and then also I'm collecting all the elytras in the 10,000 by 10,000 range. I'll have fun with that. Yep. I made myself the... Ooh, TNT. No worries. <laughs> I made myself super evil. Good job. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing stuff just as evil. I'm digging a hole. Alright, so it's been a crazy day. We've been clearing a lot, actually. Shrimp helped a little bit. I think Dino helped a little bit. But we have... <laughs> we have so many chests. We have so many chests. Wait, there was a bunch of wood in that. Those. I don't... Okay, someone must have grabbed some of that. That's okay, I really didn't put a sign on it. And it is technically at spawn. We did grab our dogs back from Hot Dogs. So we named one Swin, we named one Damage Junior, and we named one Cat. And the whole cat is a reference to Art on the server naming the cats that she has wolf and dog so now we have a dog named cat also this is going to be political hill i've talked about this a little bit during the stream i don't know how much i've talked about it here the whole idea is this will be the political hill this will kind of be like community stuff like banks and things like that over here we'll have the trade district and over here we'll have like uh public works projects and stuff like that all throughout here and I think that's kind of going to wrap up Spawn. We don't want Spawn to be sprawling on forever because we want people to develop other, like, cities, if that makes sense, elsewhere throughout the world. So we don't want, we do not want Spawn to go forever. After repairing my axe so many times, oh, and technically I guess this is the art district. I'm going to have to map this off so no one messes with it because no one's allowed to mess with Shrimp's work. Period. After repairing my diamond axe today, like, four... It was, okay, it was only, like, twice. But, anyways, after doing that, I did decide it's not worth the diamonds. Put a mending on it, and because the mending was on it, I decided to go ahead and make my first netherite axe. So, at least I'm not losing it. At least I'm not losing it. One of the th uh, things I do want to do in today's episode... So I do want to go ahead and trade for my Doom Squad kill sword back or make another backup sword. I also came to the realization that I'm kind of missing shields. I also need another uh, trident. Alright, what could go wrong? Me and creepers. Come on. You're down and you're down. Sweet. It was actually the best creeper handling I think I've had. This is Cat Faces. So now we know who has this. This is Cat Faces factory here. Or factories. I don't know what he's doing with it yet. It's cool. There's ways up. And then there's ways down right here. But I, I have zero clue what's going on with this. Besides the fact that it looks awesome. That's the only thing I know about that does have a notch apple though so there's two notch apples that i know of on the server we're gonna have to go do that all right all right 
So first off, I sold 40 stacks of gunpowder to Hot Dog for... There were seven more than this. <laughs> I killed Dino though, uh, actually the first death on the server, which was in the thumbnail of this video. So I made him diamond pants because I broke his gold pants. But after doing about three hours of killing wither skeletons, dying twice, not to them, I fell to my death and then my bed. And then I got my back of elytra and I ran into a wall and died of kinetic energy for the first time. So we're making moves. We're making moves. But here's what I came up with. This is it right here. We got 29 wither skulls. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm not gonna complain, but <laughs> I do remember the drop rate of this being a lot, a lot lower. So, uh, I mean, hey, we got nine beacons now to do. Obviously, we're gonna do these withers here. Yeah, but I got a lot of bones. I threw out majority of the swords. The couple times I knew I was coming back, I would keep the swords. Um, but besides that, I threw a majority of them out. We got a lot of coal from this, actually, which is good, because I do have some torches and some stuff to light up here. Uh, obviously, blaze rods, we got a decent amount. We just got some random stuff I picked up while I was going. So we did get some good stuff, like overall, when everything's said and done. I might have to do a couple more sessions of this here. Um, I do enjoy this. I do think it was a good call. And let's kill those withers. Let's do it. Actually, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to wait because I don't know exactly what I want to do yet with them. I'm still trying to decide. Alright, is... Is anyone AFK up here? No. Um... Ah, uh, shrimp's AFK over here. It probably won't work out because mobs will probably spawn in the ocean. At least we will be getting iron for the night. Every couple days now, I've been headed out to my bunker, the Doom Squad bunker. Well, it's actually kind of just my bunker. And I've been filling everything up in here. So let's go over everything. Coal's pretty much the same. Redstone, we've added a little bit. Gold, we've added a lot from the bastions we have hit up. Sadly, no notch apples yet. When it comes to iron, obviously, we have so much blocks of iron and iron ingots and iron nuggets. Like, we have all that. Iron ore kind of gone up. We really haven't done too much caving. Horse armor and mending. <laughs> Emerald's another thing. You can make an infinite amount. But horse armor, I think, I don't think you can create horse armor. So that's why it's still in here. Our potions, dragon heads, elytras. We actually lost an elytra, as everyone knows. So we are down one elytra. When it comes to soul speed, we've gotten a couple more pig steps. We've definitely started racking up that ancient debris, which I find very good. Lapis, we're almost out of. Diamonds, we're out of diamond ore, but we have been making some cells for some goods, so we're stacking up some diamonds, and of course we find some at the bastions. Our enchantment book supply is growing. One day I'm gonna have to go through that and make backup sets of gear. Iron's grown a little bit, you know, because I'm just picking up these pieces, right? The stone swords I've really been throwing out when I'm doing the wither skeletons, but these I'm keeping. Gold we've had to expand, obviously. I don't know when I'm ever going to need this much butter armor, but hey, I have it. <laughs> Diamonds another one. It is expanding slowly, but surely. I mean, it's good to have stuff in here. That way, if I need to create more sets of gear or anything like that, I have it. And then crossbows and bows. I haven't really changed too much since the main enchanting session here. I do believe this collection here, we might actually start farming this because the border walls were, well, it was past to put them in. I actually do need to put them in. I kind of need to go admin mode and put them in for a little bit. Um, I might actually do that today. I'll probably do that today, but just to cover everything, obviously, working here, we got our fortune, our silk touch. We got all our fireworks. We got all our gunpowder just in a hurry. We want that. We have our like little to-go box, which has... Our crossbows, our backup bow. We don't have backup sword anymore because we gave that to Dino. We a backup elytra. 
then the firework rockets for these. We need to make more of those. And then I'm starting to work on golden carrots here. That way I do have more golden carrots. Every time I'm up there, I am trading the carrots. Let's go fight some withers. <laughs> I wanted to get all my stuff in order. That way I could go fight some withers. Pretty much it. Pretty much it. We need more arrows. Yeah. Hold on, let me get some... Uh... Emeralds, there we go. For the most part, once things go in here, unless it's like a mending book or something like that, I'm kind of getting my resources from elsewhere. Let's go fight the Withers! Saturday stream on 320 2021 Like I said, just to update everyone, I did a little bit of work on the Fountain of Life, but I realized I needed quartz, and I mined a little bit of quartz. I was like, this just is not fast enough. I learned I can get them from villagers, so I went over here, and I tried to get them from villagers, and to my surprise, to my surprise, uh, you can get a lot of things from villagers. <laughs> like a lot, a lot of things from villagers. So, we're making moves on the villager hall, and pretty much I spent four hours moving iron guys in here, and I'm still working on that, and I'm going to work on that more while I'm editing here, but I'm moving iron guys in here. And then I will be moving some more iron guys in here. But down here, there's three different iron guys. There's the true smiths, there's the armor smiths, and then there is the weapon smiths over here, which allows me to have every single piece of item that each of them do. They each do trade iron for emeralds, which is kind of the whole point. The point is to come in here with a bunch of iron and walk away with enough emeralds to do anything you want. The only one down here that does not do iron is this guy but I needed the chainmail hat and I was just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm putting this thing in the middle here. So we're gonna do that. And yeah, <laughs> I've just been trading. That's all I've been up to. All I've been up to. And I messed up and just let a villager out. Don't know how I'm gonna get, ba get him back in. Actually earlier for some of the villagers, I have been dropping them. Like, just straight up dropping them. If they don't give me the trade I want, I just drop them. <laughs> like, actually, I drop them down into the ocean, and then I go down and finish the job. But, yeah. So this is something that Shrimp built over here. Which is not the place I was originally going to put it. And I might move it still, but let me just say... When it comes to breeding villagers, there's nothing better. There's nothing better. Absolutely nothing better. So, I'm very happy about this. Uh, during the stream, Cryptic was doing some different Doom Squad banners. I might ask him to include some purple. I guess... I don't know. I don't know how I want to approach the whole Doom Squad thing. I'm thinking maybe, like, the members... Like, I'm the leader, right? And then the members are secretive. I feel like that could be pretty cool. If the members were secretive and it wasn't like, hey... You're a member, and then we have secret meetings where we all wear masks, dragon masks, and no one can actually tell who we are. That would be pretty cool. I do believe. Alright, let's finish you up. Come on. Perfect. I don't really know why I care about finishing any of them up. Like, <laughs> breaking three, that's, that's not bad. Especially, well, I mean... Let's face it, all this stuff is just going to get grindstoned down. Like, we're just making this so we don't have to spend our own diamonds. And then all the books are going to be up here with all the librarians. Which is going to be so awesome. I'm so excited about this. It's going to be a crazy system that we build. It has so much upside. And then we're talking about... Well, I'm talking about something I talked about during the stream. Is I'm thinking about expanding this to four iron farms. And then putting a control drop down block here that blocks the zombie from seeing this. That way it's only oper like operating why I'm aware it's operating. It would allow me to have it spawn when it's not. And because the th logic behind this, right, is like so many iron golems spawn here. Like I've had, how many are up right now? Three? I've had it where there's been like 14, like I kid you not, like I've had so many iron golems up here and I've had to come through and just destroy them all. Alright, so if it wasn't for the fact that I've been building this, and someone showed me how much emeralds or how much iron or... 
how much resources they can pump out with something like this, I would be pretty sure they would be hacking. <laughs> I would go look at the logs. This is... Absolutely insane. Absolutely the craziest thing I have seen, period. The end. Literally the craziest thing I've seen, period. The end. Like, that's it. <laughs> this is it. Hold on, do I have a- just- these emeralds are literally just from trading to get my iron guys going. Like, I'm not sitting here trading with them at all. Like, I'm literally just sitting here to trade with them to get them maxed out. I'm not trying to, like, trade for items or anything like that. Like, this is... This is absolutely nutty. This is insane. And the EXP levels from this? Amazing. Amazing. Like, I have not traded with these guys in so long. <laughs> I got more room, too. I got more room, too. We're gonna obviously clean up the aesthetics of this a little bit. Do the flooring and stuff like that. I want to put Doom banners around in different places. I want to do things like... Do a little more fine detail here on the ceiling. And, like, obviously add a little bit more light. Like, I'm just trying to get through... This. Trying to make this look good. I don't- oh, you probably want five because you saw me punch your fellow villager by accident. I've dropped a couple more villagers. <laughs> I've dropped a couple more villagers. Like, it's actually infinite emeralds. I just go around in circles here. Like, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I wouldn't believe it, besides the fact that I've made this. Alright, hell, hello hot dog, I'm uh, here with your wishes. Oh, I have right. one, two, three shulkers, and then here in the middle shulker you'll see a diamond sword, a diamond shovel, a diamond axe, and then a full set of diamond gear, all ready for your demand. Here are your payment. Oh, thank you. 16 diamonds, sir. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you chose to do trade and operate with Doom Bank. Remember, Doom Bank is all your needs if you ever want to start a organization or an underground society or even a rebellion or a war or, an, or a competing nation. Anything you need that causes problems, Doom Bank is here. And just remember, we were never here. All right. Wait, so this isn't your parrot. No, I don't know who it is. Oh, I don't have Minecraft sounds on. Crap. Well. Wait, so this isn't your parrot, and it's named Green? Yeah. Are you trying to bury it? Well, I can't really do anything, because I got a bobber in my face. Oh. <laughs> okay, try to fly, and I'll, I'll let you go farther away before I pull. Yeah. Vertical is range. This is this your parrot? No, neither of them are mine. I don't know why. They were just here when I came back. I, I didn't accidentally hit the parrot at all. It, the parrot's dead, isn't it? No. No, you're, no, you're burying it. Uh. Here, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna make you. A, I'm gonna make you a quick buck. You got a sign? Why? I'm gonna put a sign that says if you want your parrots back, pay five diamonds. Nah, I, I, I don't hold people hostage. People are pets hostage like you. Oh, okay. Alright, so since I've, I've talked to everyone last, I really haven't made too much progress editing, which is gonna be funny as people start seeing these videos come out, because I'm... Fingers crossed they do start coming out. I would really, <laughs> I would really like to get them out because I'm making good progress here. Uh, we do have a new creator now on the server, another 1.3 thousand audience. So make sure to go welcome them. I don't know how I'm going to announce that yet. 
This is more like a behind the scenes look, but I've traded quite a lot and we've made quite a lot of progress here. In the back, I've kind of just decided I'm going to make this like a holding room for everything that's traded down here. So obviously the different ones will have different things. And I've started to go through my emerald supply again. I've... I really haven't made too much of a dent in my iron supply. I'm about to go AFK though for the rest of the night. I do need to design down here a little bit more, but I actually started working on that. And obviously, since this is going to be Doom Squad headquarters, I was trying to make a Doom Squad banner. And now I can't find it. Oh wait, it's down here. No. No. Where is this? I'm, I put it somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Ah, oh, here. Here we go. I made this, and this was just the start. This was... Well, it was stage six. It was six out of six. And turns out you can't make banners. Like, you used to be able to. It turns out at one point, you could go above six. Now you can only really do it in creative mode, which really stinks, because I want to keep going. This was not the final design. There was supposed to be other patterns in it and stuff like that. So I'm going to propose to everyone tomorrow that we either find someone that can do it in a data pack or we do something. We have some way where people can get more of these because I want to be able to make some Doom Squad banners, you know, a couple different ones and I w because I want to hang them up here. I feel like that's going to be part of the look I kind of go for here is actually going to go ahead and do that. I want to figure out the flooring here as well in this bottom area and then we're going to be done. And then from there we're going to move to the top and I've decided that for the first layer the one that I'm going to work on I believe is going to be the loom. I think that's where I'm going to start. Because if we come over here to this villager we put I guess we just lose our... Okay, there we go. If we put this here, will this villager take? Here, let's just go put the loom in here. I'm not going to trade with anyone, but if we put the loom there... Someone take it. Someone take the job. Anybody? You seem interested. Okay, there we go. If we look at you, you give the brown wool and the shears here, but eventually I believe they do take dyes as well for emeralds. And what gives a bunch of dye? Oh, I, I mean, I don't know. Who would want to take a guess on what gives a massive amount of dyes? Can I land this, please? Thank you. Game? Thank you. <laughs> What gives a massive amount of die? Well, this thing. And I've thrown out a couple chests of poppies now. When I probably should have just been saving them all. Because if that's another source, obviously, well, first of all, it offers dyes and stuff like that. And it offers wool, which is going to make that a little bit easier. But if 12 of these does equal one emerald, I don't know how I could pass on this. Like, this is definitely another source of emeralds for me. And, well, I mean, since this farm is going, it doesn't require any extra effort on my part. It's literally just the farm here. And I don't think I'm going to need too many of them. By looking at it, obviously, I think the trades, if I get them perfect, I think I'm going to need eight. Remember, these are going to be kind of bigger cells up here. It's going to be kind of a nicer area. It's going to be, I guess, maybe... I'm going to try to make it nicer, <laughs> something like that. Um, less compact and stuff like that than down here. I do still need to do more detailing here, but I need to figure out the banners because like, I wanted to put a banner here and then uh, I don't know actually what I wanted to do here. I think maybe I was going to put something like a slab there, but I wanted to do banners like along here, maybe back here. Like I wanted to build the banners into the design and then do something like the banners on the floor. I feel like that would be a really cool, really interesting build here. You know, like two of them here and stuff like that. I feel like that would give me a lot of freedom here. 
I do want to kind of do something with the floor though still and maybe something more back here. It's coming along, right? Something, yeah, some, this looks fine on the inside, but maybe something in here. Um, thought about putting chains right here. So you could see the person, but it looks like you really can't see the person to begin with. Um, I wonder if I could run lava, like, straight down here. Nah, I'd probably catch things on fire. I don't know, I gotta figure out the inside here. And then out here I have to figure out this as well. But I'm very aware of the design and we're definitely gonna keep on doing all this. We did have a raid. I do want to update everyone because it's been a little bit of time. But I have been trading emeralds to, well, get my golden carrot supply up. And I'm almost out actually from that. I need to just sit down and do a couple laps because each lap is about... Seven, eight stacks of emeralds. So it, they're very good laps. Very powerful laps. But I've been doing golden carrot farms. Obviously I want a massive amount of these. And we're going to get to a point at one point. Where we have way more. I mean way more. Of these carrots to go ahead and get and give out. Did you get moved? Oh, whatever. Because I feel like that's going to be a good source of income. And I also feel like, well, we need a stack of that. We do have Totem of Undying. This is starting to become so big that we've had raids. But well, we actually only had one raid. And then I died a couple times during the raid. As you can tell, I jumped a couple more. Four more to be exact. I was at 65. Decided, you know, why not jump a couple more times? I do just want to say, all the clips that you hear me not playing with game sound, this is why. <laughs> because when I'm here just doing stuff and editing videos, this is quite a lot to listen to. I still haven't figured out what I'm doing with the design in here. That's okay, I'm just going to keep moving on with the villagers here because we do... Well, we AFK'd for another night and the iron supplies just keep going up. And it has never been easier just to sit down here, plop all this down... Uh, what do I not need? Ah, we need those. Get some iron. And just run through here. I fell to my death again. It hurt. It hurt. I thought I had my elytra on. Jumped off. Hit the ground. No elytra, no gear. So, yeah, that was not the best move on my part, but... Hey, who cares? See? Easy emeralds. So, what we're going to start working on, actually, I've decided the next group that we're going to do and get all the trades of is... The Shepherds. And the reason why we're doing the Shepherds... Hold on, let me, let me make sure real quick. Minecraft... Villager trading... Eventually, the Shepherd can take red dye. <laughs> red dye, 12 of them for one emerald. Yeah, you know who has a red dye problem that I don't know what I'm going to do with? Yeah, me. So one of the trades that I'm going to start out with trying to get here on the first row, obviously we're going to get them all, is this one here. I need a source of shears. And I guess I need a million shears. I actually didn't think you would give me that many shears. Okay, so I never have to spend iron on shears ever again, which is always a plus. So I'm just here in the end, getting some more working picks, because I realize I only actually have one true working pick, and I lost one of my Silk Touch picks, so I just have been using this regular one for the intros. And so I came to the end, I started enchanting, and I realized that whoever was here last, uh, well, they didn't bring back an anvil. I used up the anvil and didn't bring up the anvil. And yeah, everything's super, like, tight radius right now because I am editing in the background. I just wanted to say getting more working picks and yeah I <laughs> I spent too long going to repair my tools. Alright so um efficiency 4, efficiency 4, there we go add that to the silk touch, there we go that's another silk touch working pick 
That's also a silk touch, so let's do bam bam. And I broke my anvil. However, you know, it's my anvil. <laughs> That's the difference. No, I don't care. At the end of the day, it's okay. It's whatever. But still, they broke the anvil and didn't bring one back. I'm gonna have to AFK again tonight. I'm going through my iron supply so quick. Oh, I actually have an anvil right here. That's fine. I need some levels. Yeah, I'll make maybe like a handful of anvils and take them out there. That sounds really good and really fun. I do want to announce we got the first storyline coming up on the server. The first major storyline. I cannot wait for everybody to see it. It's going to be a lot of fun for everyone involved. Do I not have another fortune or efficiency pick? I don't, do I? No, I don't. But hold on, I have efficiency. It is. All right, so now I have efficiency five, I'm breaking three, efficiency five, I'm breaking three, efficiency five, I'm breaking three. I don't have mending on any of these. Goodbye, iron supply. Oh, back to the base, we're almost done. <laughs> Give me my mending box. All right, here we go. Silk touch one, silk touch two, and silk touch three. And there we go. I'm going to keep the regular working pick because obviously I do need some cobble. My cobble supplies were just getting out of hand, and I don't want to be well, responsible for crafting them all into stone. Like, that's just no fun. Okay, one's done, two's done, and three's done. There we go. We got three more working picks. Awesome. Back to mining. <laughs> I have a lot of that. So there seems to be a new nation forming. And this nation is... They're ready for conflict. They're building a wall. They're building a massive fortress out here. Look at this size of this fortress. Like, they're ready for conflict. They're ready for war. Then it comes out this way. Like, look at this. This nation is probably a good nation for Doom Squad to, how do you put it, fund. I don't know what this is. It looks cool. So, Cal Nation requested to purchase 10 stone. I gave him the price of one diamond. I told him to come on down. Come on down. I did a little clip with Picky Gray, which was really fun. It was really great. I can't wait to do more clips with him. But I was paid a diamond for that. And then I got 18 certified Cal Empire Cal excrements. And let me just say, prize possessions. As far as I know, those are the only 18 on the server. Prize possession to Doom's Bank. Doom Bank. Doom Bank. Hello gamers and we are caught up. I've gone through all the footage and yeah, sorry the video is almost 40 minutes long and I think I adjusted one or two of the other videos and just added in some more clips just so I could be done. Mainly because I'm kind of working with a new thing now and I got everything that back up and rolling again. It was kind of just between recruitment and figuring out like the direction of the server and stuff like that. Like it was all just very overwhelming there for a little bit. So now that everything's kind of a little more set up, I actually am going to be able to edit as I go. So in the background of the video today, you've been seeing me mine. So let's go check that out. <laughs> let's go check that out. This is now the third time I've moved the beacon. Hi, buddy. How you doing? This is now the third time I've moved the beacon. I'm actually not done here. I just went and repaired all my... Silk touch tools because I was like, ah, I have enough cobbles still, even though I went through more silk touch. But this is what I've done. This entire area here is what I've done. And this is pretty much the entirety of the underneath spawn. Like, actually, <laughs> I needed resources. As everyone knows, I'm out of lapis, I'm out of diamond. 
Well, I guess I was out of lapis and I guess I was out of diamond. Iron and stuff like that, obviously, we have from the farm. Gold, you know, we have enough from the bastions. Coal, I mean... We can ne it can never hurt. Our supplies are a little bit lower than they have been in the past. But we've just been down here just chugging away throughout the day. Just absolutely chugging away throughout the day. And why we've been doing that, we've been editing. I will say I had more fun editing these Minecraft videos than I have with a lot of other editing projects. They om other editing projects that I've done in the past felt more like chores. These felt more fun, more relaxing. I think that can be seen in the amount of content that's in each of them and my attitude and stuff like that like I'm not gonna say like I'm finding my thing but I'm enjoying this quite a lot and your support really means the world to me all right so let's go over what I got uh, this has all been taken out let's first go over the gravel I was using a fortune pick for a majority of the times and then like Towards the end here, I realized I need gravel for concrete. So I've been gathering the gravel, not for too long here now. So I really need more gravel, I realized. But when it comes to stone and stuff like that, we've definitely added quite a lot. <laughs> I know most of these chests kind of had some incomplete things, but we've now kind of completed them all. Yeah. We've done so much. When I started today, during the editing process and all the stuff like that, my items were... We're at 20,000 here. We're now almost at 60. We have mined so much stone, and that's good. That's good, because we have so many people trying to buy stone. And we have so many stone projects that we're going to need stone too. And also, like, public works projects like building the Colosseum or something like that. Like, I will donate to that 100%. That's what public works things are. Like, why would I not donate to them? Anyways, but here we go. So, this is the resources. <laughs> this is the first one. Lots of redstone, lots of coal, a stack of diamond ore, which is good. The most we ever had on this world was a stack and five or six pieces. And then we also have 30 more. So we have done absolutely monstrous things. Absolutely crazy things. Absolutely insane things. With our ore collection. Our coal is back up to an all-time high with this. Our redstone... Well, our redstone actually never took a hit. So that's still going to be at an all-time high. Our iron... I think this is going to be post first beacon before I had the farm fully set up because I did have a little bit, but I did end up smelting quite a bit from that, which I mean, eh, but I think that's now going to be back to a record high there when it comes to that gold is obviously going to be at a record high. I've never spent any of my gold, believe it or not, not a single ounce of my gold has been spent here on the untold craft server. Our diamonds are now back up to a record high. Our lapis is actually not at a record high. But, actually, never mind. I got another stack right there. Our lapis is at a record high. Everything emerald-wise and material-wise is at a record high. So I feel a lot better, especially because we're going to be opening the Doom Bank. And that's going to be financing a lot of things on this server. It's going to be the, hopefully the main financer. And if anyone else tries to create a competing bank or stuff like that, we're just going to have to run them out of business. The bank is also going to be where I house all my precious material. And I'm going to build it into this mountain here. And I'm going to build a vault there. So, yeah. Precious material is going to just be right here at spawn. Spawn is a neutral area. This whole area around here where all the buildings are, spawn is technically considered neutral in any wars or conflicts. Any of the community... Areas are going to be considered neutral. So to me, putting a bank there seems smart. Of course, like, there's actually no rule that says they're neutral. There's actually, like, nothing that actually is going to truly enforce this. So until we get, like, a justice system on the server, and until we get a better politic area and people on the server, it's just kind of going to be trust that makes it a neutral area but here's where my 
new Doom Squad bunker is. And I'm showing you this because by the time you see the next one, Doom Bank will be up and all my stuff will be in there and that will be very public knowledge. <laughs> and actually, I enjoy this because I hate having to like sneak off here and go into my bunker. So this is my bunker, so let's go ahead and put everything up and just talk a little bit about the future here and what this server holds and all the hype and stuff like that. So as you know, we have quite a few creators joining. We have the next major wave of creators here on Thursday. So that's going to be really cool to see. I personally cannot wait to see all the creators join. It's honestly really cool to see all the different perspectives. It's also really cool to see every everyone's ideas and all the things that the creators want to do because every creator wants to do something different and there's so many things creators have come forward wanting to do it's honestly been amazing something really great to watch really great to see especially as someone that's trying to get this off the ground because i'm going to be doing it regardless i just want more creators there when i am doing it and yeah, we're moving there. We're definitely working on getting there, and it's really great to see. It honestly is is one of the coolest things ever, and I'm really happy everyone is enjoying it to the degree at which everyone is enjoying it. So some really big things that have actually developed that I haven't talked about on here. We're going to get someone to run the data pack for us. We are going to have a data pack we have decided and it's going to be run by a creator that's also going to be playing on here. I'm not going to announce who it is yet. I'm going to wait till their schedule clears up and it's official that they are playing on here and they will be a part of it. Don't want to announce it just in case. Don't want to put him in a weird spot if he feels like he needs to pull out or anything like that. I did run it by there, but we will have a data pack for RP events and stuff like that, which is really good to see. That's something we want because we do want to create those rare items and those experiences for the viewers and the creators here on the server. And all the creators are really on board with it, so I'm really happy about that. Another thing that I want to talk about is we're going to actually bring someone on to do the writing for the story a little bit. And it's going to be mostly unscripted, right? But there's going to be some generic bullet points that are kind of established. And those generic bullet points that are established are going to kind of help guide the story in the direction we want to go. It's also going to allow the data pack person to work with them to add items and completely unique stories and experiences to the game for all creators that are not just made. So it's kind of going to be a multi-tiered system there, and that's it. That's what I want to announce. We have another wave of creators here on Friday. You should start seeing content from a lot of different creators. And I cannot wait, but we are now officially caught up. I'm done editing, and I know by the time you see this, I will have recorded and done a lot more, but that's fine. I'm just talking about on my end. It's when you dig that editing hole, you just cannot get out of it. Thank you, gamers, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to hit that like, hit the comment button, and make sure to slap, and I mean slap. Get your hand out, get that palm, and slap the sub button, and go take part in the YouTube community pools. I really appreciate it, and it really means the world to me. Thank you, gamers, so much, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Bye!